guys we're working on a gti today um this is a friend of mine ski he asked me to rebuild the carburetor and the fuel pump on this so we're gonna go ahead and um i'm gonna show you guys what we did i got the seats off got the back tray out so that way i can have access to it so this is a two-stroke guy so it is actually a seven i think 717 they call it or 716 or something so the carb and all that stuff's there. So first things first, we gotta do is unbolt this to make it just a wee bit easier to gain access to it all. So you take your socket, like so. Go unscrew, I've already unscrewed it. So, so you just unscrew it. Once you get it unscrewed, sometimes you don't have to completely remove them. Looks like this side we might have to completely remove. So let me prop this. Sorry guys, just where can I get my camera set up here? So we'll just completely remove the one side and we should be able to pop it off. Might have to loosen this side up just a little bit more here. So you just loosen it up see it's got like a pinch thing so that's what you're loosening is this pinch thing that goes there so now with that off now we have easy access to the engine as you guys can see all right guys what we're going to do now is we're going to remove the top of the air box I already undid these clips that slide so you slide the clips and then you can pop the top of the air box up like so and you get the top of the air box out so once you have that out, now you gotta take, let's get that out of there. Let's see, so if you take, I think them two screws loose there, you can get the one bracket off. And looks like, let's see, I'm not sure I might have to take them loose. So let's just try to take them loose and see what happens. I haven't taken apart one of these in a while, so we're gonna see what we can do. All right, guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna rebuild this carburetor inside. I went through and broke these four screws loose with my vice grips because they're stuck. So now I should be able to get them. Sorry about that. I know you guys don't want a close up of my hand. So now we should be able to get them loose. So I just put my vice grips on them and broke them. So that way I don't strip the screws out. So we're going to do it in here because I can't get the one clip off down there. And I don't want to break things. So we're going to go ahead and do one side and then we're going to go ahead and do the other side. And it should be okay. These are pretty simple carbs. Here's a good one for you guys. So it wouldn't pump fuel. Let's try to see if I can show you guys this. See the air bubble there on that? Well, this is supposed to work as the pump. This goes back to the crankcase. The crankcase was full of oil. This is full of oil too. So it's kind of like a no, no wonder why it wouldn't pump. So let's try to get this open and I'll show you guys. Let's see if I can get that plastic peeling. all 
probably oil in there. So that's one of the reasons why it wouldn't pump. So, so now we just gotta clean this. We got the plastic off. Now you got the now I got the paper gasket still stuck to this. So let's try to get that off. Just trying to put all the old old stuff in a container here. So now we got a lot of the old that off. So now let's see if we can get the paper off. Okay guys, so I took a wire brush to everything. Got it. the plates all cleaned up. Got this cleaned up with the wire brush. So that way, that's pretty good now. Just wiping it down. So it does look like I did miss a little bit. So we're just gonna go ahead and pop that off right there. Right there, just to make sure. Cause it looks like it didn't quite get on all the nooks and crannies, which happens. So. This thing was really bad with how it was, so it always helps to find, go over everything, make sure all the edges are nice and clean, so that way we can get a good seal on everything. So that's just a little piece right there we got. Okay, so let's look at our kit now. Let's um, let's dump our kit out. Hold on, got second. the uh, box cleaned out here, so that way we can dump the kit in there. And try to keep it all contained. Try not to lose anything. Springs or any of the above things. a lot of little seals so let's just go ahead and put them all in there there we go okay so let's see if we can find some stuff that looks like them guys okay so we got one circle there we got one circle here our two little push things so let's go ahead and uh, set our kit over here so it doesn't fall over and disappear so let's go ahead and do that they're two different sizes it looks like two different sizes one's big one smaller so we'll just set them both on there so we don't lose them because one will go there one will go there I think they're two different sizes so let's try to pop them out. Let's see here. It might pop out easy. It might not. If not, then you just cut the, the thing off. I'm trying to save them because sometimes you break them when you replace them. And sometimes you don't. So, okay. So we got that one out, which that one looks like it's a smaller size. So it matches that one. So let's just go ahead and push it in there. Oops. And we'll put the new one in there. And let me get a little, I hate to use a punch, but. There we 
go. That one's in there. Let's see if we have any, any other size ones or if we gotta go with a bigger one. Looks like I don't have a different size one, but that one doesn't quite look like like that size. That looks a little bit big. Hmm. Maybe it's stuck in there somewhere. Let's see a separate size one. So I think what I'm gonna do is I might just replace the rubber piece on the one. That's usually what goes bad. The rubber piece. We'll pop it out and take a look at it. a different size than this one. Hmm. Well, we'll make do with what we got. Because that's what you gotta do in doing this stuff sometimes. should be good. Well, they're in there. Not much we can do about that. They're in there. Okay. So let's find the, the seal for that. So we have the clear seal, which went there. So that's a clear. So let's find the paper for that, which looks like this. There we go, we got the paper, we got the clear seal. There we go. Okay. So then that's gonna go, that's gonna go back like that. And then I guess we gotta put the O-ring back in there too. So that because things don't work when you forget o-rings so let's get the o-ring put back and then, we'll, then we can pop it back together okay guys what i got set up here is i kind of just set everything on there so i can figure it out so i clean this up i got a new fill filter in I got the O-ring in there, but it doesn't want to stay. And then you got the thin diaphragm that's going here, like so, which goes on top of everything. And then you got your, your plates that we built up earlier, which all go here. And it all bolts down in a happy little family. Hopefully. That's my big concern is that O-ring not. Both O-rings not going where they need to. So we're going to set the screws here where I can grab them. Because they're not easily grabbable and we're gonna lift this off and set this there I'm gonna make sure these o-rings here 
where it needs to be. Okay, that ring is. We're gonna hold that. We're gonna lift that off. Yep, that looks like that's where it needs to be. We're gonna have to go ahead and just take this. And we're gonna just place it at all right there. We're gonna hold pressure on it. Take our screws and hopefully not have my camera fall over. That seems like that's what it wants to do. Go ahead and hopefully get that started anyway. I'm just using a screwdriver to start it. Sorry about a close up of my hand. I know it's not what you guys want to see. It's a little bit hard because I'm still working in the hole. Because I couldn't get the one line, one cable disconnected for the. Uh, injection so I didn't want to break it and well just work in the hole now I got caddy corner screws in so everything should be in place so we're gonna go ahead and just finish tightening these All right, guys, we got it all back together. Well, almost. We got to put that centerpiece back on and seats on. But let's go ahead and uh, pull this lanyard out. And we'll just start it up. And we'll make sure it should start, hopefully. Let me clean the, the plugs again. This thing's got a lot of oil in it from it sitting for a couple of years. So hold on a second. You guys can see the plug is oil fouled. So we're gonna go ahead and pull the other one out, clean it and try to start okay, it again. Okay guys, we're gonna see if we can get this thing to fire up. Um, this time I got two hands free so I can hold the choke and hit the start button. Hopefully she starts and runs. See if she fouled the plugs again because the oil it probably did so we'll have to get her running yep plugs are oil fouled so let me clean them we'll be back okay guys i think i finally got this squared away where she should start um so i had to keep cleaning the plugs because the crank was full of oil as you guys seen in the carb kit so so she's running now let's uh go ahead and finish putting this back together and we can run around